I'm Mark Gurman with Bloomberg Technology, and on this week's Power Up, I'm looking at what to expect in tech in 2021. Despite the difficulties of 2020, it was a huge year for gadgets, with Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Sony, and others popping out some of the most popular products to date. But 2021 is sure to be another strong year for the industry. Virtual and augmented reality products are sure to take another leap, with Apple planning to announce its first mixed VR and AR headset as early as the end of 2021. Apple will look to integrate sci-fi level VR communications like Zoom on steroids and immersive gaming on its first headset, a precursor to a future pair of AR glasses. Apple's also developing several new Macs for next year, including a new iMac and MacBook Pro with its own custom chips that are designed to outpace the highest end parts from Intel a new Apple TV, an iPad Pro with a new chip, and iPhones that potentially integrate an in-screen fingerprint sensor are also in the cards. Google will likely fully integrate Fitbit into the company next year, so one could also expect upgrades on the smartwatch side of the industry. Look for the Alphabet company to also drive a bunch of new AI features and to continue its trend of pushing down the price of its Pixel phones, a strategy that has proved popular in recent months. Microsoft is also preparing new Surface tablets and laptops, but the company needs to decide how it can turn its Surface Duo foldable tablet phone combo into a winning product. So far, reviews have been poor for the device, but perhaps Microsoft has plans to turn that around in the new year. Amazon's home security drone is launching in the coming months too, and it surely is also working to figure out more places it could jam Alexa into people's lives following up on a strong year of new Echo speakers in 2020. Besides consumer gadgets, you can bet on bigger pushes across the tech landscape in artificial intelligence, machine learning, 5G connectivity, and autonomous driving. Given the pandemic's ongoing impact well into the new year, expect communication tools like Zoom to grow with even more new features and other companies stepping up to take on work from home technologies. I'm Mark Ehrman, this is Power Up.